All right, so my name is Peter Collins, and today is Wednesday, October 25th, and I just interviewed Terry Calloway, who is the head equipment manager for the football team here at NC State. So uh, Terry is from Canton, North Carolina, and he actually attended Western Carolina for college, where he studied sport management and actually became an, a, an equipment manager for the football team as a student. And uh, so I asked him how he got to NC State. And so after his time at Western, he learned he wanted to take the career path of uh, something in sport equipment in the, at the uh, collegiate level. So he got an internship at Northwestern with their football team, where he then went on to Wisconsin, which was a pretty big deal because Big Ten football. And that's actually where he met Coach Doran in 2005, and they were there until around 2010, until Coach Doran got a head coach job at Northern Illinois, and he asked Terry to follow him and be his equipment manager. And then the same thing happened once Doran got the job at NC State in 2013, and uh, Callaway just followed him here, and that's how he got to NC State. So uh, I asked him what his favorite part about his position is. And uh, he said game day because he gets to help the team win. Uh, all the hard work throughout the week pays off. If he, uh, him and his crew kind of perform uh, highly, they don't really have to do anything too much in the game so they can kind of take in the experience and uh, kind of see everything in fruition. And uh, he also said traveling. He gets to get, see a lot of cool places, a lot of cool stadiums. Uh, I asked him what his favorite places to go to were, and he said uh, Happy Valley, which is Penn State Stadium, and uh, he went to Ohio Stadium as well, Ohio State, both during his time at Wisconsin, but those were his favorite stadiums. Um, I asked him what his least favorite uh, part of his position is, and he said the amount of hours he works. He works about 70 hours a week, seven days a week. He said he's had two days off since July, so uh, he also said that uh, 20 out of the last 22 years he's missed Christmas so with, he said he doesn't really get to see his family too much but, so that's kind of the worst part about it but he also said that when you're doing a job that you love you don't realize you work a single day so he loves what he does and he's never really working he's just away from his family um, so then we just started talking about when he travels with the team, talking about this week going to Notre Dame. And uh, they usually, if there's a Saturday game, they're packed ready to go early Thursday morning so they can get down there before the players and make sure everything is all set up. It's the hotel, food, clothing, everything. So the players only, only have to think about the game, nothing else. Kind of just make everything easy for them so they can get the job done. <clears throat> Uh, I asked him if there's anything he doesn't doesn't like about away games, and he said that the fact that he doesn't have a full staff, it's kind of it makes it harder to get the work done. It's a lot more on each individual individual person. He said he has 15 on his staff at home games, and only an eight he can only take eight for away games. So each person has to step up, but I'm sure they get the job done as we've been doing well this year. I asked him what his role was in deciding the uniform combination for each game, and um, he said that he just makes suggestions to the head coach, and uh, he actually has more of a say in the actual design of each uniform, as a, it's a collaboration between the coaching staff and him, and and uh, he's he actually said that he had a big influence on this year's black uniforms with the toughy on the helmet and everything which is pretty cool and um, he tries to keep everything kind of secretive where he actually flew out to Portland for one day which no one like knew about and just to make sure that those black uniforms were the way he wanted them before they sent him here for the Louisville game which that's pretty cool and uh, the last question I asked him uh, what advice would you give a college student like me who's trying to make it in the sport equipment industry and he said to first become a student manager and then uh, 
once you're in that position, you need to learn from the other managers who've been there. And then once you're, you get your uh, experience doing that, do an internship, and then hopefully become a grad assistant. So basically just kind of get into the whole collegiate level equipment staff and work your way up. So that's what I'm going to try to do.